When I see some of this foolishness going on in Hebrew Israelite community, it's so discouraging. It kind of just like bogs you down. One thing that gets to me is the way that they talk about our sisters, our beautiful women of Yah, whom Yah gave for us and told us to love them as he loved us. They're discouraging ones that could be grafted in. They're even talking about a revolution. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. One could argue it almost makes Christianity look good right now. This blending of our culture with the cult-like behavior of some Hebrew Israelites is creating a mass of deception and causing many to avoid the truth. There needs to be a clear line of separation drawn to end this confusion. And so it's all being meshed together, all being mingled together and say, look, those people are a part of a cult, you see. Um, some of those behaviors are this attitude towards women that they are to be hated, to be abused, to be beat. Um, there's other behaviors where you actually have brothers who say things like uh, they feel strange spending a lot of time with their children, you see. Um, other cultish behavior is this, this violent act or portrayal on street corners publicly saying what you are going to do to other nations and saying what you're going to do to your women, uh, saying what you're going to do to each other because one person may not believe the same thing that you believe, you see. And so when people see these types of behaviors, when they see um, our people behaving strangely, not in accordance to scripture, but establishing their own righteousness and making up their own rules and saying that this is of Yah. When people see these things happening, they believe that we are all a part of some religious cult and they completely reject our culture. <coughs> Alright. This is the third testimony. Uh, the Watchman Yahoo and the Lord uh wanted us to share and um, a testimony that we told him on the phone. Um, it was a, a lady who came in and she had three uh, teenage sons. She said she they told him in pocket that her sons came because they, they always heard that we're a hate group. And um, me and Andre Yasha and Netanyahu and Nabi Yahu, man, we all uh, try to exemplify love no matter where we are. You know what I'm saying? Even at the assembly, you know, we have Goyim come in. We, have, we, we, we say Goyim, that means Gentile. We have them come in and we talk to them. You know, the big thing that we talk to them about, I, I talk to them for myself from the book of Hanukkah, the book of Enoch, because if everyone comes from Noah, then that means everyone comes from Enoch or Hanukkah, because right. everyone came from Adam after the flood. Right. And so I don't always, I don't hit the Gentile uh, or the white going with, we, we Yehuda or we Yasharal or Israel. I hit them with, do you know that you come from Enoch and they'll be like you know what I've never heard that before right. and I say well let me break down the book of Enoch to you and he kept Torah and he followed Yahuwah and those who are around him were seeking to find Torah and commandments from him. I said did you know that you're a descendant from Enoch right. see Yahuwah gives us hope on wisdom he gives us wisdom in how to teach all nations right. to obey his commandments he said teach all nations if it was all nations and it wasn't true, he would have said, teach Israel. Right. Or teach Yehuda to obey all my commandments. But he didn't say that, he said all nations. Right. You wanna share something yeah, on that? That's what the camps got grown, man. One thing you know about these camps, the ABC camps, the African camps, whatever you wanna call them is, not only do they got a hate towards white people, but they have a hate towards those who are not associated with the term Hebrew Israelite. That's right, that's um, right. And they go against those who are actually trying to learn the language and those who are, you know, teaching that you can be grafted in as Gentiles. And then, they, you know, they're against some of the information we use and and with, with scholarly information according to them. You know, it's only a scholarship if they have it and they are awesome. Right. Um, you know, <coughs> and then not only that, but then you have those who are just 
those camps, and they mainly do this. They mainly are just struck on being Jewish. That's right. Me and Jacob, you know, we, we blood. We blood. You know, we the descendants. We the descendants. But, but they follow the fake Jakes. They do follow the fake Jakes. <laughs> they follow the fake Jakes, and now that is, what are you going to do when you when come to Judgment Day and you find out that you wasn't blood Judah? Hmm. All that hate toward white people, all that hate toward anybody that you didn't think was Judah, what are you going to do when you wasn't blood Judah? All those punishment and judgment you have out of everybody who ain't Judah is going to be no slaves and go be you know, rape and all this kind of stuff. What does that put you on? Ain't that something? Because see, they say Hispanics are, are of the tribes, but if right. you look at Hispaniola or Spain, those were white men. Right. So I tell people, they get mad. I'm like, hey, the ones in the hate camp who saying white people are going to be punished and they right. Spanish. I say, guess what? I got good news for you. You can come in too because you a Spaniard and that was a white man. See all that teaching hate? It is, man. That, that false 12 tribe chart, like they just went on these islands and dropped. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to drop this tribe off here. I'm going to drop this tribe off here. I'm drop this tribe. That don't even make sense. That makes it, don't even make, sense. it don't even make logical sense. That's time, y'all. You got something to say? Uh, I want to say, uh, they, uh, the lamb back off of you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't piggyback. We lamb back. <laughs> they say uh, the Edomites, they will going to be erased and they wouldn't have uh, no power in the kingdom, but uh, if you were reading Amos, uh, it was right. Amos 9 and 12, it says the Edomite and the heathens, which is the Goyims, the other nations, <coughs> That's right. they will have possession uh, within the kingdom as well. It's a remnant right. of, It's called right. by it's your whole name. That's called by his name. Ain't it's, it's, it's a remedy. And um, it's, 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 it's like a difficulty uh, fighting against our brethren like a house divided cannot stand. So we have to get to a point where we have to reach out to uh, fellow uh, Hebrews that call themselves Hebrews as much as possible as we can <coughs> to teach love uh, with, with one another. Because uh, the, the battle that we, we is going through right now is uh, having to uh, shut down the bad counsel that they are teaching our, our young ones. Right. So, you know, they the, the only thing that they can hang their hat on or, or or feel powerful or feel something about is hating the white man. Right. That's the only thing that they can, they love to hate the white man. So to be separate, they don't understand that uh, Hashatan, uh, he's trying to steal, uh, he don't want you to be redeemed. So he wants you to have hate as he hates. That's good stuff. Man. And see what people got to understand too is that's why we don't use the term among our brotherhood Hebrew Israelite. We right. use Aubrey Yashalim. Yashalim. You know Aubrey Yashalim. The reason why we use Aubrey Yashalim is because we're trying to separate the stigma of Hebrew Israelite. Right. We use the accurate term that would have been in the Aubrey language. That language is Aubrey. So we use Aubrey Yasserlim so people can't go, and it's sad, people just can't go and Google Hebrew Israelite and see those hate groups, those paid agents, those 501c3 agents that's paid to spit hate from the government. Right. So we say Aubrey Yasserlim because we know that they can't Google that. Now they have to get this information from the book of the covenant, from research, and from fellowshipping with fellow Aubrey people. You get what I'm saying? So it's sad that Hashatan has made a synagogue of Satan within Yehuda. Yashara. Right. So we you know we use that scripture as a synagogue of Satan. We point to the Ashkenazi, Khazarian Jew. But now we have to point to the synagogue of Satan that's in Yashara. Right, right. 